Hi everyone, I'm Johan. Today I'm going to talk about the Google Mechanical Engineer interview process. At the end of this video, you should have a good understanding of the process itself, what interviewers look at, and a bunch of tips for each round. Quick intro, I'm from Prepfully. This video has been put together by Google mechanical engineers who are also interview coaches on Prepfully. They've coached hundreds of candidates successfully and are available on the website if you're looking for a more personalized guidance. Okay then, moving on to the interview. So the Google mechanical engineering interview consists of three rounds. The first, phone interview with the recruiter. Second, technical screen with a senior mechanical engineer. And third, on-site interview. The process itself is generally not too difficult, but it is a majorly technical in nature, with a sizable portion dedicated to leadership and culture fit assessment. Let's discuss each round in detail. So you'll kick off with a phone interview with a Google recruiter. They will be looking to evaluate your background and your fit for the role. Here's three tips for this round. Tip one, make sure you have a short and crisp introduction ready to go when the recruiter asks you, tell me about yourself. Maybe also include a memorable nugget about yourself that makes you stand out. Second, you will encounter typical behavioral questions like why Google or why the mechanical engineering field? So you have a clear reason for why you're applying at Google, as well as why you think you'd succeed in the field. Third, they will also inquire about your current or past engineering projects, challenges you encountered, etc. So gather your thoughts about your previous work experiences and decide ahead which specific projects you will discuss. Focus on topics like what your contribution was, how things went, and what you could have done better. Next is the technical interview with a senior mechanical engineer, which lasts roughly 30 to 45 minutes. The interviewer asks basic questions related to the position, both technical and behavioral. Two quick tips for this round. As with the recruiter call, be prepared to discuss previous projects and brush up on the basics of mechanical engineering. Stuff like heat transfer, cooling, mechanical stress, etc. Practice answering in commonly asked technical and behavioral questions in this regard, possibly with a friend or a professional to ensure you've got the basics nailed down and give the interviewer enough evidence for them to give you a higher score. We'd recommend booking a technical screen style mock with a mechanical engineer on Prepfully. We have several from Google on the platform so you'll get advice from the soundest possible source. Okay then, moving on to the final round of interviews. You'll have four consecutive one-on-one -on -one sessions, each lasting one hour with senior mechanical engineers. These cover two types of questions, technical questions and practical case study. Here's what you need to know about these interviews. So the goal is to assess if you can apply your knowledge of mechanical engineering principles in real world scenarios. So interviewers will follow a similar line of questioning. For instance, they might inquire about your experience in designing and manufacturing mechanical parts. You'll be asked to share specific case studies where you faced challenges and had to make informed decisions. Make sure you provide a clear explanation of your role in similar pressure scenarios, how you optimized a specific parts design to enhance its performance, or how you addressed manufacturing constraints to achieve cost effectiveness without compromising on quality, and so on. You will also be presented with hypothetical situations involving complex mechanical systems, basically to get insight to your approach to problem solving. Scenarios will mirror real world challenges that mechanical engineers encounter, so you'll need to show how you can think critically and creatively to devise practical solutions. Lastly, remember interviewers are not just assessing your technical knowledge, but also your ability to communicate your thought process and rationale behind the decisions. As you can imagine, there is a ton of ground to cover, so my most important tip is to just practice a lot. Just being ready with the content isn't enough. You need to brace yourself for an interview environment where you could get asked something unexpected or where the interview might go down a tangent you thought was unimportant 
but it's all the interviewer seems to care about. And where, at the end of the day, you've got 45 minutes to cover an enormous amount of territory, where you need to answer all of these questions in a way that they adequately demonstrate the full range of your competence and fit. So, practice is key. Ask friends for help or go to a professional platform like Prepfully to get practice with any one of the Google mechanical engineers who have been mentoring hundreds of candidates. Right, that's all from us. Lots of additional helpful resources in the description don't forget to check them out and if you found the video helpful do like and subscribe thanks and good luck thanks for watching the video if you liked it please subscribe our website is prepfully.com we've got lots of interview questions there you can also schedule a mock interview with one of our experts you can find the link in the description below all the best from us at prepfully and we hope you totally rock your interview